Welcome back, friends, to another episode of Seven Days to Die Alpha 19. We are on my base day one series. It is day 63 here, and we're about to take on our ninth horde, which is pretty damn cool. We're going to be rocking it here. Time 64 horde. If you guys haven't seen the base yet, we've actually expanded it quite a bit. We started out on day one with a wood base. We've done all our crafting, all our storage, everything all in the same area. All in the same building and this is what it's been expanding to so we've slowly been expanding the building and the defenses we've got some new wings on the outside here that are really recent uh, but the core of this build is um, is pretty old it's been here for a little while so it's day 63 here we might see some heavy zombies tonight I'm not sure uh, what's gonna happen it's always up in the air uh, now if I don't remember to take this damn ladder out we're gonna be in trouble here because apparently uh, zombies can also jump up ladders that you can jump up now. So no more two, uh, two block up zombie ladder tricks anymore. Uh, we're just gonna have to nerd pull and take away the blocks, which really isn't too big of a deal. We can totally adapt to that. Uh, here we go. Okay, so we have a ton of cement we can also make too. Concrete mix. I'm gonna get that going, make sure all our forges. We had these uh, stacked before we went out and did the tier 5 in the last episode. Went for a long journey if you missed that too. Went all the way over here for our last trader and our uh, trader quest line. And uh, now we can do tier 5. So we can uh, rock trader Joel over here and uh, hit up one of the tier 5s nearby, which is pretty damn cool. All right, so I'm going to make up some concrete mix here. I think I can just split off both of these. And we need to go down below and start replacing some of those spikes because we're still missing a lot of the spikes in one area. Uh, double checking up here for spikes. We got none, but I do believe we had some being made in the table here. Yes, there we go. 346 spikes. We should have way more than enough uh, for our needs here. All right, here we go. So I'm going to copy that rotation so these spikes are all generally in the same direction. At least, maybe not the same rotation, but the same direction here. And uh, get to replacing a lot of these. Now, every Horde night, we get more and more of these missing. So I've kind of been in a rush here uh, to get the electrical defenses together. We've placed some... Um, oops, I almost walked right into it here. We've placed some wire over here, but it's not hooked up yet. It's not good to go. We've been getting parts and stuff like crazy, uh, but we still have to do some wiring. We still have to do some building because the electrical has to go up through the building and uh, be protected up in the mezzanine here. This is good. It's going to be quite the build. We got to place down a lot of concrete and oh, there we go. It's a day bell. So I was out working early this morning, uh, just like real life. I like getting up before the sun and uh, getting some stuff down. I, I don't know why. I, I think the older I get, it's not I think, the older I get, the more productive I find I am in the mornings and in the evenings is when I prefer just to chill out and uh, relax. Kind of go hard all day and then uh, relax in the evenings. So um, I don't know if that's a thing for you guys. Let me know down, down in the comments. Is that an age-related thing? Am I just getting old? Well, there we go. That wasn't too bad. I actually got that filled in nice and quick here. And we still have 238 spikes left, which means we have a lot uh, left over for repairs here after Horde Night. So since we also have a extra slot here, um, oh, here we go. We want rebar or some frame blocks here, wood frame blocks. Uh, since we have some extra room in our tool belt now, uh, it's quite handy because then I can keep these blocks on because, like I said, the ladder situation. And uh, just general keep, generally keep some blocks on me for jumping around. So I should be able to go down, pick up those wood frame blocks, and bam, there we go. Um, now, can I go four high? Because the same thing is here too. Like, I wonder if this will still discourage them, that the hatch here still discourage them from trying to, trying to come up the ladder. Hmm... I guess we'll find out on Horde Night here. It's getting pretty damn close. Now, I have to go out today and find myself a uh, sledge turret because I have not been able to find one of those, single one of those during my entire playthrough. Uh, we do have some time. Uh, I have the M62 for Horde Night tonight. We're going to kick some ass. Uh, but let's take JT out and uh, go rob some local places here. So we looted this school once way early, early in the series. Uh, like literally, I think it was like day four or five. It was real early. 
And uh, then we also relooted this place again right after. We have the reloot. Everything is set on default. So uh, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to park this uh, plane here, the Condor, and check to see if the... Whoa. Nope, we're empty. <laughs> okay, well, let's take out the zombies we just uh, spawned in anyway. We'll have ourselves some fun. There we go. Ah, got a twofer on that one. Let's try that one again. Bam! She's down. He's down. These guys aren't anything. Just regular old zombies. God, I love this shotgun. One of the best additions to Alpha 19, I think. Um, what I still really want to see are those hover drones, by the way. Still haven't seen those. They said we're going to see them Alpha 19, and we haven't. Holy crap, do you see the loot that just came off that guy? Uh, we still haven't seen them yet. We got an M60 machine gun, 7.62 can of sham, and a hazmat mat jacket. That was actually pretty damn solid. Okay, so we obviously can't loot that place again. Uh, let's go loot something easy over here. Let's, uh, that house right there. I don't think we've ever hit that place up. I'm going to take Condor for a little bit of a journey. See, Condor can be a ground bird too. There we go. Oh, uh, looks like there's a hole in here, so we actually may have come at some point and uh, looted this. But, let's check this out. Lootable. Might have been a zombie just busting out. Lootable. Okay. We'll check this place out. Huh, there we go. <laughs> Looks like the bottom's broken off. What do we have going on up here? Wow, there's a lot of destruction in here. Whatever happened? Uh, there is a soldier zombie over there. Here we go, soldiers. Wow. Um, I guess I shouldn't have used that at such short range, but... Hey, it does a job, right? There we go. Slow him down a little bit. Whoa. That guy wasn't running. I thought all, all those guys were running. I think they call them whites now, though. Um, those used to be the old ferals, and then they introduced, uh, a z like, new... Every zombie has a feral... Uh, variant. So that's kind of cool. Okay, look at that. We can loot this place. What do we have? We have some pants. We already have pants. Sniper rifle. Level 5 stun baton. Not bad loot, actually. This all sell very, very well to the trader. These, uh, these shotguns, too. Love finding those because those will give us parts. We need those parts uh, to make turrets. So what do we get here? Crossbow parts. We got shotgun parts. Very nice. Rocket launcher, machine gun, rifle, and uh, pants. What I do need... Is handgun parts that's uh, that's something we really need big time okay well that one is pretty easy I'm gonna assume that was the main loot right there and uh, we're gonna leave that place uh, let's see what this little place right here has for us if there's anything this is just a washroom here I don't think there's gonna be really anything too crazy good in here Nah, it doesn't look like it yeah it's just a washroom. maybe there's something in behind because the building looks a little bigger than that yeah there definitely is Maybe there's like a little office back here with a safe. Oh, looks like we have a store. Oh, and supplies too. There's supplies up in here. I don't know why, guys. Every time I'm in this area, uh, I get crazy leg. I swear it's because of the, that, that fence there. I don't know why, though. It's just this area and this area only. Uh, crazy weird. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, coffee beans. We can actually always use those. Very handy things. Okay, and uh, let's check out the rest of this here. What do we have up in here? We have a later. And that's it. Wow, the light made it look like there's some sort of a uh, good dungeon or something down here, but... Nope. That is it. That is all. <laughs> Damn it. Uh... Okay, here we go. So, uh, now... I don't loot everything, guys. Uh, like the, the whole point of this playthrough really is uh, to build a base. I'm not going nomad, I'm not like searching for supplies, like getting most of my iron and stuff like from scrapping stuff down. Uh, which by the way is a very, very valid way to get all your supplies, especially if you're not base building like crazy and just like upgrading a place and using it. Um, we, we have to do a playthrough like that. I think um, I'm going to do that with uh, Darkness Falls. We have that new playthrough coming up soon too, by the way, guys. Uh, I think next weekend. We'll, we'll probably be doing that next week and bringing that one in too. But uh, anyway, I think I'm going to try that with Darkness Falls. But I don't loot everything just because I really just don't need everything. I'm not a heavy looter. Uh, I'm more of like a, a builder, creative kind of person. So 
Uh, I want to get all that stuff done. All right, let's check out here. We always uh, have to come in and buy our candies. Nice, we got Rockbusters too that time. And uh, just for the fun of it, I'm going to start buying canned food too. We're collecting all this stuff, guys. Canned food and candy and, and whatnot. I don't really use the candy, but I just want to collect it. See how much candy we can get by the end of this uh, playthrough here. All right, Joel, what is going on here? I want to sell you a few things that I don't need. Much obliged, stranger. Now, it's always a good practice, too, especially if you have a lot of um, repair kits and you're not really hurting for them, uh, to actually go and uh, repair some of the stuff you're selling to the trader. Yeah, like, look at that. 400 for those. Not too bad. All right, we're going to sell this because basically I don't need it. I don't think we'll ever use it. It's more of a novelty item at this point. Okay, we are uh, good to go here. I think I'm going to sell uh, some of my weaker weapons. Like this, M uh, this M4 a 60 machine gun level 4. 1,000... 103 let's go ahead and repair that it's not a huge repair it's only a little bit of a repair here let's see how much more that gave us 1488 see the difference like imagine this was all the way down here you'd be losing so much money by not using a repair kit there we go okay and uh, how much cash did we make wow we made 4376 plus a little bit of change from buying stuff from the vending machine but uh, not bad for a little bit of a quick run here that only took a few hours let's do a little more of this see how much money we can make uh, I'm probably gonna turn a lot of this coin honestly into brass and then in the future uh, use it to buy um, uh, solar power because solar power is really good especially for like remote um, remote stuff like my my big hole all right here we go so I think this house right here uh, was added back in alpha 15 I'm not sure though don't quote me on that one uh, that could be uh, completely incorrect uh, but it does look like it has some of the newer stuff on it uh, so it may have be modified or may just look like one of the older builds. Here we go. Like I said, I haven't really been doing a lot of like crazy looting the last few playthroughs. So um, I've missed a, a few of the POIs. All right, let's go right down in the basement here. That's always where all the action happens. Okay, so we got a few zombies in here, of course. Let's go ahead and uh, clear out the crew. We also got a, a floating car. Whoa, check this out. It's a hover car. I like it. I can take a picture of that. Maybe this guy, this guy was on to something. All right, well, I guess I may as well scrap down these cars since, uh, whoa, <laughs> right down on the ground. See how hard I hit that thing? I just, uh, I just crushed that car into submission. There we go. Oh, this thing is so sweet now. It's so quick. Um, they gotta fix this right mouse button thing though. If it's got a quick collect, they gotta they gotta bring in the same animation. All right, let's crack open this uh, passing gas box here and see what's up. Oh, we got a uh, chainsaw. Nice. Holy crap! And twenty five repair kits. <laughs> That's ludicrous. That's awesome. See, repair kits, not a big deal. Okay, locked door. Locked doors are for suckers. Let's break this open and uh, go outside. Oh, that's just the outside. How disappointing. Uh, I guess we'll go upstairs through the back. Can we go in through the back? Yeah, we can go in through the back here. Not a big deal. Here we go. Let's bust through one of these. Okay, and it looks like I was able to bust a door open without waking up the sleepers. <laughs> Got that guy, though. Definitely didn't last long. Woo! Screw the cupboards. This gun definitely does a lot of collateral damage, though. <laughs> Wouldn't want to use it in my own base, I tell you what. Oh, it looks like there's a ladder upstairs here. Or a ladder. I mean, a makeshift bunch of random crap to get upstairs. All right, here we go. Let's get on top of our paper here and blast some ass. Boom, there we go. She is not down. But there's definitely some holes in the floor now. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Here we go. If you guys are going to die, you're going to end up going through the floor. Oh, that's right. Shotgun shells go right through fr uh, frames. So uh, we're good. We're good to go. And oh my god, look at this stash right here. This is where it's at. Just busting your way quickly through POIs and uh, getting some of that loot. All right, what do we have in here? Oh, what? 
Art of Mining Volume 6, Avalanche. After, uh, after you know how to move and roll, you can usually get out of the way of an av avalanche in one piece. Take 50% less damage from collapsing mines. Nice. Guys, let's read this. Oh, love that sound. We're close to the Art of Mining. Done it, guys. Uh, Ranger's Guide to Ar Archery, Volume 5. Uh, flaming arrows. No ranger fantasy is complete without raining fire from the sky. Craft flaming arrows and crossbow bolts. We'll actually might have to bring those in for a horde night. I think that would be a, a ton of fun. There we go. So read both of those books. And uh, we have a bunch of stuff, of course, to sell to the trader again. That is pretty damn cool. I'm not even using JT. We don't even need JT right now. We're good by ourselves here. All right. We got an ammo pile with a whole whack load of ammo in it. Uh, we'll get rid of that because we don't need it. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. This is just crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Okay, I'm going to get rid of a few things here. Alright, let's crack these bad boys open here. We got a gun store box with a level 6 military vest. Holy crap, that's pretty damn uh, good, actually. Uh, we might actually wear that. Yeah, there we go. We'll wear it. I think we switched it out for another level 6 anyway, but th that one had slightly better... Uh, stats on it. So we got a work, uh, working stiffs box. Oh, tools galore here. Oh my god, what am I going to get rid of? That knob. We'll get rid of the knob. We don't need the knob. Maybe uh, repair this jacket. There we go. That'll use up a repair kit and free up a space. <laughs> and uh, may as well use the steroids too. We got lots of those back home. Alright, one more working stiffs box here. and We can uh, head back to the trader again. To dump off all this extra crap. Still shovel. We'll turn those into parts. Okay. Sweet. I think we got it, guys. Nice. Right into the, the main loot right away here. Looks like uh, they like to keep the main loot in the upstairs of the places. And look at that. Just dropped right in on some bookcases. <laughs> that is wild. Oh, we got the uh, scope two times mod schematic. We'll go ahead and use that. There we go. And like I said, I'm out of room, so... We just got a bail here, guys. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, now before we go anywhere, uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, we did! We got Lucky Looter and Salvage Operations all the way up, and we have a point available. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, just flying along. Look at that. Six of seven for the art of mining. We just need... Number four, Blackstrap, a super strong coffee. This is really good uh, for using your pickaxe here. So that's sick. Oh my god, this is so awesome. We're almost done the art of mining, which is key for my playthrough. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, sell some off, some stuff off to the trader here. Okay, there we go. So another cool 5,000 coins, coins, which is pretty damn awesome. Now, I got to utilize the uh, the storage space in Condor here. I don't think we've... Uh, I, oh, we do have a few things up in there. Nice stuff we can also uh, sell the trader. We got some dress shoes here. They'll sell for a, a nifty 50. And uh, just some ratchets here that we can sell to the trader. And I was going to keep all this stuff. It was a good, good thing to think of, but... Uh, we're just going to become overwhelmed with it. So I'm going to go ahead and repair these and uh, sell them off and store everything else in here so we can go quickly loot some more. I want to see how much trader cash we can make fast today. All right, there we go. So the level 5 ratchet sells for a cool 907, and level 6 ratchet sells for 1120 points. That's not too bad here. Uh, there we go. Look at all the coin we got. We're coming back with a stack of almost 12,000 just from running around this morning and uh, killing time trying to get some good loot because I think we pretty much got almost everything that we need. The one thing I do need is a level 6 auger. If we find a level 6 auger, that would be a uh, god level. Uh, that would be pretty damn awesome. Our build would go uh, qu that much quicker too. And oh my god, guys, don't watch this. Don't watch what I'm doing right now. Okay, so we got this little uh, school over here, and I don't think I've ever really checked this out recently because, uh, if I remember correctly, it's actually not that great of a build. So, uh, I'm assuming maybe they've actually redone this place. I don't know, but we'll definitely be finding that out here very, very shortly. Alright, school's out for the summer, guys. What is up? Nobody home? Huh, okay. Well, let's go check this vending machine here. 
Well, that woke everybody up. They're like, food? Okay. Uh, where are you coming from? There you go. Oh, that door is locked. Is this door locked over here? That one's locked, too. Oh, my. They're coming from everywhere here. Oh, that one's locked. Okay, well, uh, let's give this lady a hand. There we go. What is up? Boom. Boom. She went flying. Whoa. Get, get the head over here. There we go. That's what I want. Some good old head action. Boom. There we go. This guy went falling over here because he's an idiot. There you are. Ah, no wonder you're a teacher. You just couldn't do. No disrespect to teachers, though. Teachers are wonderful people. Disclaimer. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. that's. I think I've, I have I went and looted this um, in Alpha 18, and it wasn't that great. But we might have a chance at uh, getting some bookshelves in these rooms. And uh, bookshelves are always a good thing because they, uh, they give you books. Didn't know if you guys knew that or not, but just a little bit of uh, a helpful hint. Boom. There we go. That guy's down. And, uh, also, filing cabinets give you books, too. And paper. Paper's good. There we go. Shoot all the pictures. We don't need those. Who puts up two pictures of themselves in the same room that are identical anyway? That's, uh, that's some major hu hubris right there. Did I just... <laughs> yeah! That was unintention or unintended, but I just killed that zombie, I think, with my pickaxe. That's pretty damn cool. Oh my god, look at all the candy. Look at all the goodies up in here. We're gonna have to grab all of this. We got trader coin like crazy anyway. Alright, other vending machine, what do you have for us? Coffee? I'll take that. We can actually use that for grinding. We gotta do that very soon. Um, I don't know why I was buying the drinks there, but we'll go with it. Wow, look at that. Look at all the stuff I have in here. This is awesome. Uh, now I noticed too, the, the, the tier 5 POI had a lot of vending machines in it. So it'd be good to bring uh, some coin there after you've cleared it out. And uh, empty out the vending machines if you need like a bunch of food and a bunch of candy. You'd be able to get a ton of it. Okay, so there's nothing in those rooms. Let's go wake up these rooms back here. There we go. Two time those doors. And what's up, mister? Boom. Laid him down. No big deal. Ouch. He's down. Who puts a wood floor down in a school? That's not a very good choice. Oh. <laughs> Forgot it, little guy. There we go. Take him out of his misery. Okay. We got ourselves another bookcase over here. Damn. Can't be so lucky. I can't believe we got two books off that one loot, though. That was pretty damn cool. Damn it. All right, well, we've got the first floor done. Let's go give the second floor a uh, quick loot here. I don't know if there's a major loot room in this building, uh, but just like the little bookcases and stuff, just my opinion, are really worth it. Let's let's just go and wake this whole place up at once. There we go. We'll get this de uh, dealt and done with. Boom. Yeah. Lay down. There we go. She's down. Okay. There we go. Get through that door, damn it, you weak asshole. Oh, look at this guy over here. He doesn't even need any help. There we go. Now, I do think your shotgun bullets should go through a half-open door like that. I do hope that's something the Fun Pimps address eventually, is uh, being able to shoot through doors. I think that would make a uh, ton of sense. Okay, there we go. I don't know where he came from, but it didn't last very long. It doesn't look like there's really stuff in behind the pictures in this school. Maybe that's a house thing. Wow, not even a bookcase? Oh, you guys have button hooked me here. Yeah, so it's confirmed. School? Eh. It's cool, but not really worth it. There we go. Uh, both in real life and in game, apparently. Alright, well, uh, let's move on to that house right there. We'll go check that place. So probably give us uh, way more than that school will. Oh, guys, also helpful hint, mailboxes. Mailboxes will also give you books and recipes and stuff, which actually kind of makes sense. Book, recipes, magazines, uh, you have it. All right, we got a plant block in the doorway over here. It looks like a, a zombie actually busted out of it previously at some point. Is that a collapsible floor? Nope. But there is... Oh, courier satchel. Whoa. Whoa. I think we had a I, I think we had a quest at this POI at some point. I do think that's what's happening. 
And it hasn't been uh, reset since, so it's probably actually all broken open and looted for us, which is real, real nice. Oh, look, we got something behind this wall over here. Splash. I lied. Oh, we got a backpack up behind that pitcher over there. See, in the homes, the pitchers have stuff. Here we go. Boom. And nothing. Nothing good in there anyway. Uh, nothing good in here. Looks like we have a way outside. Oh, look at this. We have a puppy down there. And I apparently have uh, also failed at bringing a proper ranged weapon with me. So we will whip out the M60 here. This weapon is so badass. I love this thing. All right, Doug, what is up? There we go. Get them right focused and boom. <laughs> Satisfying. Okay, so I didn't feel like getting in here through a maze or anything, so I just cut my way through the wall. <laughs> That's sick. Did we get all of them like that? Nope. There's this one over here. Hey. Duh, whatever. Okay, let's get them dealt with. Here we go. Boom. You're down. Whoa. Where'd you even come from? <laughs> I think it was in the closet right there. That's funny. Okay, we got a food pile down there. All chilling out by itself. And oh, look at this. I found the loot room. <laughs> That's sick. And we got a level six sniper rifle. We don't have one of those yet. Nice. And in here, we got a whole shitload of stuff to sell the trader. Nice. That's some nice trader coin there, too. Uh, I'm going to actually repair these right out of the container and uh, take the ammo. Let's see what this uh, gun store box has for us here. There we go. Just a couple of repair kits. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love that we broke right into the loot room just kind of casually. I swear, guys, I, I had no idea I was not trying that. There we go. See? Look at that. We got more stuff out of that one little quick room than we did that entire little school there. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to check this car here. We already did. Let's head off to my condor, and we got to get back home and ready for Horde Night here, guys, after I sell this stuff to the trader. All right, Joel, let's sell some of this stuff off to you here. We have actually a pretty good haul. I think this is way better than doing, like, a Tier 4 stuff. Just go around and... Uh, loot all the random home, homes. Stupid broken glass, I swear. I wanna, I almost wanna, uh, mod broken glass out. <laughs> uh, you kinda need it though, especially if you're doing a, a massive teardown or something, but, yeah, like, look at the points, like, look at, look at the coin we're getting, this is insane. I'm not selling that sniper rifle, that's gonna stay with us for sure. Uh, and it looks like I have sold pretty much everything that uh, we can sell. So we're coming back with 15,322 coins, just kind of dicking around. And uh, getting some pretty good loot, too, uh, for half a day. Not too bad. All right, Condor, take us home so we can take out the zombies. I think we're going to have a fun horde night tonight. Okay, so we're back home here. I have everything in my inventory that I need. Um, other than JT ammo, but I think he's okay for now. So we do have some time to kill here before the night cycle. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, take my auger and actually modify it to put this stuff in here. There we go. And, uh, we're going to go and get ourselves, uh, some more sand because we can always, always use sand. It's a good project to do, uh, around home here. Now this one here is a structural, uh, it doesn't really matter, bunker buster or whatever, uh, because it doesn't do damage to sand, but it does increase the, uh, the base damage just simply by putting a mod in there. So even if the mod's not actively doing something, guys, it's, uh, worth putting in. So, like, let's see this one here, we got the, uh, power attack damage of 58, slide that in, now we got, uh, 60, and it doesn't matter, so it'll do more damage, period. Awesome, so let's go ahead and, uh, grind down some of the sand, as you guys can see, uh, I've been slowly flattening the desert around my base here. That's where we've been getting all our sand from. And once again, uh, because I always constantly get this question is, why don't you turn your stone into sand? Uh, it'll save you time. And honestly, guys, turning stone into sand does not save you time at all. A, you're tying up your mixers, turning stone into sand, and it takes forever. Uh, B, you need stone in the forge, and you need stone to make the mix. So you need a lot of stone where you only need a certain amount of sand for making the mix, right? You don't need sand anywhere else in the equation. So if you're turning your stone into sand, you're actually uh, spending more time and more resources uh, trying to get that done. 
getting sand in the desert if you're nearby a desert guys just go and spend some time in the desert honestly uh it doesn't take very long to get the sand at all and uh you'll save yourself tons of time And there we are. So I got a good swath of this done here. I did about a three wide pass uh, on each side of our uh, base build here. If we uh, zoom in here, so I went along here three and I went along here three. So we got a nice flat area of land going on here and that's what I wanted. And we also have two and a half stacks of sand. So in that little bit of time I had to kill, uh, we saved a lot of time just gathering sand and we needed to flatten out the area anyway so it's a huge win-win on that one uh so let's get our butt upstairs here we are 30 minutes away from the horde night in game at least oh could you imagine that was real life one for one jeez this game would take forever to play okay there we go let's grab that and uh i'll get all this stuff put away and we will take on the horde guys let's do this are we gonna get some bomber zombies tonight are we gonna get some demos we'll find out Here we are, let's take some canned goods with us because we are very hungry here and we're coming into Horde Night. So I think they're going to come from the north tonight. Going to make that call and uh, damn, we're already on guys. It is Horde Night. So which direction are they going to be coming from here? Whoa, they're definitely not coming from the north. Oh damn, what did you guys guess? Okay, uh, we have some zombies here. Where are they coming from? Looks like they're coming. Oh crap. Did I get them? Nice. Wow. Look at that. A cop right away. Looks like they're coming from the south here. Actually, it looks like they're coming from the end where we uh, we built that extension. So let's try to pull them back a little further this way uh, so they're not slamming on our building here. But oh my god. Listen to that M60 fire, guys. That is beautiful. I love that sound. Look at that. These guys, no challenge right here. This is so sick. There we go. Nice! Look at that! So we actually have some population here tonight, which is a good thing. Getting some XP, getting some points there. Look at our XP bar just fly up. That is pretty damn awesome. Once we have some electrical traps in there too, uh, we'll get huge XP chains on Horde Knights. Yeah, look at that. We're just plowing through them here. No big deal. Oh, and they are also though, keep in mind, plowing through my spikes. No big deal either too. So, ah, damn. See? There goes our XP chain. It's gone already. <laughs> uh, Alpha 18. We have the XP chains up into like hundreds of thousands. It's pretty damn cool. Pretty epic. Yeah, another cop down. Holy crap. It is a cop horde night tonight. Uh, the one good thing about the cops on the spikes too is I don't think they can spit while they're walking on spikes. I really haven't seen them do it. Holy crap. Like, look at the amount of cops tonight. This is insane. Just tons and tons of cops. These bullets just go right through these zombies, too. This is so sick. This is going to be intense, guys. Remember how I said I thought this was going to be an intense horde night? I wasn't wrong at all. <laughs> Holy crap. So many cops have shown up. There we go. We got another one over there. Uh, none of them have spit at me yet, though. We're doing good so far. Here we go. Let's just kind of keep them walking back. Um, are they coming from a different direction now? They could have changed uh, spawn directions. Okay, here we go. Our base is getting so big it's hard to tell. We're going to have to put some sort of indicator to let us know, too, um, which way the zombies are coming from on Horde Night. Like, if they switch directions and we're on one wing fighting, uh, we got to know if they're actually on another wing. So, uh, that's going to be interesting to try to figure out, too. Oh, damn, look at that. Another cop. Another cop. There we go. Woo! Wow. Just falling down left and right here. And uh, we're actually running a little low on the uh, M60 ammo. Maybe I should have made a little more for Hard Knight. Or I could just try to take uh, shots a little carefully. Oh, 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 that one almost actually spit at me. But we got him. We got him. Another cop over there. Holy crap, they're all over the place. This pillar design works really well too because... Um, it's not that easy for the uh, the cops to get a line of sight on you, uh, but it's easy for you to get a line of sight on them. There we go. Boom. He's down for sure. He has no head, so he can't spit without a head. There we are. Wow, just cops left and right tonight. This is insane. 
I haven't seen this many cops in the Horde Night in a while. Remember last Horde, we're like, oh my god, there's barely any cops. Uh, let's check out, guys. What's my game stage at here? I never even thought to check. We are at uh, game stage 162. Not so shabby. Getting up there. What's up, Kappa? There we go. I think he's down. He's down. Nice. Try to punch. Uh, try to punch some heads with these bullets, especially if they're not cops. There we go. Save on that ammo. Holy crap! There's just all over the place. Could you imagine if I wasn't able to dispatch these cops as quickly? This would be such a mess right now. It would be so bad. I don't even know if we have birds, guys, because uh, I, I can't see my bird thing going off. Is it going off? No, that is our... Uh, oh, wait, where is it? It's right there. This is our bird uh, thing right here. Uh, those lights are glitched. For some reason, I can't take them down. It's like they're not even there. Uh, so only one side of them works. Where's the rest of them here? Are we coming from a different direction now? Oh, looks like we're coming from uh, the west now. Coming in from the west. Okay, here we go. Brand new waves, brand new challenges. That's good. I'll fight them from the side this time, I think. Oh! Oh, crap! Oh, my God! Look at them all! Oh, my God! Three demos all at once! Oh, no! How have we not activated one? Whoa! Oh, my God! This is not good. This is not good, guys. This is getting dangerous now. There we go. How have I not set a demo off? Oh, this is insane. Horde Knights are getting intense now. Ooh, this is a little earlier than I had hoped for. But we'll, we'll adapt, guys. We'll adapt. We'll take the shotgun out here. There we go. Try to take out some of these zombies. Holy crap, they threw a pill. Whoa, boom, and the cop blew up. You know what? That actually might not be a bad thing, having the cops blow up, because they... Whoa! Another cop blew up. Because uh, they can help take care of our zombies for us. There we go. I think that cop is down. Nice! Boom! Look at that. Try to keep control of this situation over here. Zombies everywhere. Oh, they're piling up right over there. Okay, so at least we know, too, the ladder is not a big deal. They're not going... Whoa! Ouch! Ouch! Oh, my God. That that hurt. That, that really, really hurt. Damn it. Okay, some hip fire down in there. There we go. Oh, crap. Oh, boom. Holy crap, we had a demo go off. We're okay, though. We're okay. Pillar's still standing. We got this, guys. That's what, uh, that's what a, um, that's what repair is for. <laughs> I'm running out of words. This is intense. And it's only 12, 13 in the morning. Wow. Horde Knights got amped. All right, let's, uh, let's bring these guys back here a little bit then. There we go. Just gonna spread them out a little bit. Keep them away from the major damage over there. There we go. Over this way, guys. Come find me. I'm over here. There we go. Get off that pillar over there. Come on. No, get off of that. I'm over here now. There we go. Come find me. Hello. God damn it. So many of them. Get off that pillar. Woo. Oh, no. I think I hear another demo zombie. I do. Fire at his feet. Fire at the feet. Oh, we had something blow up over there. That's no good. I think that was just a cop, though. I think we're fine. Oh, crap. Oh, he blew up. Oh, my God. Look at all the spikes gone. <laughs> Rest in peace, earphone users. This is getting intense. There we go. Cobs down. Other cobs down. Wow, we're going to have to really get some bullets for the next Horde Knight. This is unreal. We actually got some pillars out this time. <laughs> this is madness. Wow, guys. This is insane. Like cops and demo zombies all at the same time. Holy crap. Okay, so, uh, Jesus. So, damn it. Oh, another one blew up. All my spikes. Those things take out spikes like crazy. Uh, the pillars seem okay, though. They're still standing strong on the pillars over here. Whew. Those demo zombies, I tell you what. Um, you don't want to get them in your electrical traps, either. Oh, my God. They take out electri or electrical traps like crazy. Not a good thing. Okay. Here we go. Just peeling them off of those pillars. Look at that. Oh, no. We need a repair now. Whew, this is intense, guys. Here we go. We'll repair that. And, uh, and we're back. And we're down to... Okay, so I'm going to use my shotgun here because we're actually getting really low on the M60 uh, 
or on the uh, 7.62 ammo. Holy crap. There we go. Are we doing okay though? I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay now. I think we got this under control. 1 a.m. here. Look at all the loot. Look at all the loot down there. There's crazy, crazy loot going on. This is awesome. Okay, here we go. Bertha's down. I hear a bird. I hear a bird. I think uh, I think the one took out one of our lights. Actually, I think that's what that was what's going on. Oh yeah, look at that. Our light definitely did just go off there. I think taking out a bird. There we go. It's taking out more birds. I can hear the pew pew above us. There we go. Boom. Okay. Holy crap! They're just lining up tonight. Demo zombies, cops, radiated. <laughs> yes. There we go. Boom. He's down. This is wild, guys. I, I'm. I'm actually afraid we might get overwhelmed here. 1.22 a.m. and we're still going hard. Our bird defenses are working above. You can hear it going off. You can see the light going off. Ah, oh, I love that sound. It's so sick. The vulture funnel. There we go. Holy crap. There's so much going on I can't even right now. Uh, we got a couple. Oh, shoot. Look at all the pillars out over there. Okay, let's try to drag them maybe over to this back corner. Uh, it doesn't look like we have as, as much damage back here, so... Whoa! Ow! Damn it! Oh, he snuck up on me with that one. Holy crap, took out one of my lights too. So much damage tonight, guys. <laughs> We're gonna have to up our game like crazy here. Definitely have to go and do some more looting so we can do some more building here uh, in the very near future, but... Wow, that's intense. Almost all of our spikes, I think, are gone. I think they've managed to literally take out, like, most of our spikes this horde night. Those demo zombies, though, damn it. They do some real damage to your spikes. Yeah, 2 a.m., we're still going strong, guys. Look at this pile up over here. Look at that. Just one after the other. Here we go. My god, I can't keep up with this. All I hear is banging. There's so much banging going on. There's zombies everywhere. A little bit of a voice crack there for you guys, too. Holy crap, 2 a.m. This really made up for the other Horde Knights, I can tell you guys. Remember, I was like, holy crap, these Horde Knights are slow. This one is not slow. At all. Okay, here we go. So we're still, we're still okay. Still doing okay. Um, actually, I'm starting to think the cops can't spit straight up, and that's that's what's keeping us strong right now. Here we go. Uh, those vultures, though, they can hit me flying in because of the bars right there. So I got to be real careful here. There we go. Ow, I got hit again. I got hit again. I love that new sound, though, by the way. I think that's the first time I've gone... Oh, damn. Yeah, see that sound right there? Oh, we've got uh, we've got some damage going on here. We gotta be real careful. Okay, come on, guys, get off my pillars. Oh no, this is insane. <laughs> Definitely a step up from the other horde knights. Wow, even got some demo zombies in the mix too. Like just unreal. Just fire down into the masses. This is like. This is like DayZ style right here. Like, this is insane. Wow, like, look at this. We're going to have so much repair work to do, but the loot's going to be real, too. All I hear is loot everywhere. <laughs> a lot of good zombies. A lot of high-end zombies tonight, too. So, uh, there should be some good loot bags down there. I can't wait to check that out. Oh no, look at this. They've almost managed to chew their way through this pillar over here. Let's get a few of those ones off that pillar then. There we go. Get off of there, guys. Uh, the other good thing about them stacking up like that too is zombies do damage to each other. So when they're hitting each other like this, uh, like stacking up like that, they're actually doing damage to each other, which, which is very useful. So that kind of softens them up a little bit. Uh, tenderizes the zombies for me. Here we go. Holy crap, guys. We have so much pillar damage this time. Good thing we built this strong, I tell you what. There we go. I think I want to go to the most stacked up pillars at this point. 
make the most of my bullets. Look at the dogs down here. Look at this. Look at those pack of dogs just right beneath me. All just chilling out together. <laughs> That's awesome. We got him though. He's all dead. Sounds like we got a vulture problem above us too, guys. I don't know if they're doing any damage to the building above us, but we definitely have some vultures chilling out. Oh, right beside us. Oh, <laughs> that's no good. There we go. Get rid of that guy there. Making all sorts of noises. Wow, this is insane. Can't even keep up with this. Here we go. It is 3 a.m., guys. 3 a.m., and I think we're doing okay here. Wow, look at the middle. Ew. So much destruction here. So many pillars taken out. Okay, you know what I think we're going to do? I'm going to uh, run out here. We'll take on uh, the vultures. There we go. We got... Uh... Boom, there we go. We got rid of those vultures. Oh, this thing rocks for taking care of the vultures. Sick. Let's get some of that flesh and stuff too then. Uh, we'll bring them out this way. Let them pound at some of these pillars. Uh, give us a little bit. Uh, of a breather with the pillars in the middle there. This is insane. Like, look at that. Look at the look at the supplies we're getting from that. Whole bunch of flesh, whole bunch of bone. Uh, extremely useful. Okay, come over this way, guys. No, I don't want you pounding over, all over on that building over there. I don't want you damaging my electronics here. I want you guys uh, over in this direction. Uh, pounding on these pillars over here. These are these ones that really don't support anything yet. These are the most important. There we go. Take out that guy. Take out the lady. We got this. We got this. Wow, they're kind of running from pillar to pillar all weird. Wonder why they're doing that. Come over this way, guys. Come here. There we go. And I'm kind of wondering if my uh, vulture thing ran out of ammo because we've never refilled that since uh, since I first started. So uh, that may, may explain why we had so many vultures up there. Just a simple fact of uh, running out of the ammo. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Zombies heads are off. Beautiful. Boom. There we go. 330 guys. We made it. We made it. A lot of damage. Like a lot of damage. But we made it. We made it through. <laughs> Can't believe it though. Holy crap. Oh, they managed to get through that block. Or it was me with my shotgun. Because shotguns do a lot of block damage too. So, I mean, I may also be damaging my own base. Oh my god, did we did we work through all the zombies? Guys, I think we worked through all the zombies. Day 64, day 63 of Horde Night, we worked through all the zombies before the morning here. Damn, that's pretty, pretty damn good. Okay, so let's repair this here. Yeah, we get to go and get ourselves a ton of loot too. This is going to be sick. Uh, so in favor of uh, not having my loot time out, what we're going to do is jump down there as soon as I got my zombies killed here. There we go. I'm going to go and stash what I have my inventory away, uh, aside from some ammo and, uh, of course, my weapons. And uh, we're going to go loot real quick, and then we'll take a look at our damage here, because goddamn, we have a lot of damage. Okay, so what do I have here? Just just quickly taking a look at my inventory here, and I have an abrasion. Uh, okay, so what do we fix this with? First aid bandages, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's, uh, let's give one of those a go. Actually, yeah, we'll use a first aid bandage. There we are. Use. Bang. There we go. We got six minutes left on that now. Nice. We did it, guys. We made it through. We made it through. <laughs> that was so intense. Okay, I'm going to put away uh, all of this stuff here. There we go. Um, like I said, aside from my shotgun ammo, just in case we get any unfriendly visitors. And uh, we're going to go and do some major loots. Oops. I'm going to take a full stack. All right. Let's do this, guys. Oh my god, we are full up on the inventory here, and we still have some loot bags to check out. So I guess we're going to have to stop the little bit of a lapse there, but uh, let's take a quick look here. I do got a couple books we can read. We got the Tactical Assault Rifle Schematic. Nice. Uh, Pistol Pete Volume 3. A steady hand means more targets hit and less ammo wasted. You're more accurate when rapid firing 9mm weapons. Nice. There we go. Let's claim that. And, uh, wow, it literally looks like I have no junk on me, but we're hungry, so I'll, I'll eat the food. Okay, I 
think I got it here. That was really easy to collect. So without looking at the base here and at the damage uh, for the moment, let's take a look at my inventory here. So we got a level 6 SMG. Oh, that's nice. We actually did not have one of those. We got another tactical assault rifle. Uh, we got some basic weapons here. We can sell the trader. We got another uh, shotgun, which is always good. I'll take those any days. Uh, we got three time charges. I completely forgot about these. The time charges? Wow. That's kind of cool, so uh, I'll probably put that in my storage and uh, forget about it again. Uh, but we did get a bunch of armor and stuff here. We got some iron boots, a whole bunch of stuff to sell to the trader. Uh, is this, ooh, this is actually better than the chest I'm wearing now. Uh, other than uh, the weight, so I'll have to check that out. We finally got night vision goggles. I'm going to keep these ones. We found some early in the series, and I just kind of tossed them away. Uh, but we're looking pretty good. We also got some brass going on here, which is really good. Uh, we got 1,000 Duke's Casino tokens, a couple books to sell the trader, and uh, look at all this ammo. We got a ton of ammo, level 5, uh, 44 Magnum. Uh, but we got a stack and a bit of ammo, or 7.62, and a stack and a bit of 9mm. So um, that really helps stack up the ammo. And 1,660 old cash, which we'll probably scrap uh, to turn into paper. Look how much paper that is. That's nothing to laugh at. We have lots of trader coin, but... Okay, so let's take a look at our base here and see how many poles they actually managed to take out. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 poles, guys. Nine poles that they're able to take out this horde night. Those demo zombies going off too were unreal. But hey, look at this. All we got to do is come back in here and repair the floor, and we're good to go for another horde night. But we did it. We even took on demo zombies, which is wild. But this goes to show you guys uh, just how strong of a pillar base, uh, just how strong a pillar base actually is. If you uh, if you're not really feeling too confident in your abilities here, uh, you can also go and put a plate on the outside of these. Whoa, ouch, Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. Uh, you can throw a plate on the outside of these here, and then they have to beat the plate first, and then they can beat the block. Uh, but I like to keep it like this. A little bit of risk, a little bit of reward, I think, is uh, a lot of fun. But look at that, guys. We did it. We rocked the Horde Knight. Damn, that was pretty awesome. All right, well, we got one little stupid bird left up here. Um, I don't even know if that's actually part of the Horde, but... We'll see if we can't rapid fire and hit him with one. There we go. Definitely got his attention. <laughs> Sick. Look at him fall. Nice. Okay, well, I'm going to go skin him, guys, and uh, we'll call this an episode here. I truly hope you did enjoy. That was uh, by far one of the most intense and one of the most fun horde nights. <laughs> the bone's going to fly in all over the place that I've had in a very, very long time. I hope you guys have a great weekend. People say I'm gonna do my thing my way No matter what you people do I'm gonna do my thing much better than you No matter what you say or do Oh boy, you're out of luck It's gonna roll right off of me Like water off the back of a duck And I go